Do you support your fellow selectmen trying to stop indie reporters from filming them? Uh -huh. Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party. So in this age when uh, you can't really be part of the cool kids without wearing a mask or if you uh, wear a mask you fall out with a different group of cool kids I guess I would just like to explain why I wear a mask number one historically masks were effective at stopping you from spreading something you don't know you have during the Spanish flu it was effective and it's just generally effective against viruses this is established history whatever they learn about coronavirus it's unlikely to be much different the second reason is to remind the authorities that I care about their safety, even if I might be their enemy. Uh, and, and anyone around me that I care about their safety. I, I feel bad if I have to take a mask uh, uh, off when I'm in close proximity to people. Now maybe later we'll learn that the COVID is such a small problem uh, that it's really not, it's not uh, useful, uh, or useful is not the right word, but it's not, uh, it's not that important to wear a mask. But the history is that it can help. You know, I'd like to think I'm a better environmentalist than my environmentalist enemies, and I'm a better COVID preventer than my COVID-obsessed enemies. <laughs> None of which are represented necessarily by that church. It just happened to be what was in front of me to photograph. One of your selectmen has been trying to intimidate me into not filming him. He says I have to have his permission. Yep. Do, you, do you support your fellow selectmen trying to intimidate reporters? Uh, I don't see it as intimidation. I support, if somebody doesn't want to be recorded, I support them voicing their opinion and asking not to be recorded. Myself, I don't mind, so. But. All right, fair enough. I appreciate the answer. Everywhere you look, the syndrome of Stockholm. He'll feel different when it's his ass in the, the FEMA camp. By the way, there really is a Free Talk Live co-host in a FEMA camp. Free, Free Talk Live is a radio show broadcast out of Keene, New Hampshire, uh, nationwide, with a pretty good track record on factual er accuracy. Uh, Although they do have some conspiracy theorists that they will allow to co-host. The main co-hosts have a good track record. And the main co-hosts are reporting that is in a Marianas Islands uh, U.S. territory FEMA camp. And uh, not being treated particularly well. Uh, so uh, I guess they're feeding him uh, cold eggs. Not allowing anyone in the hotel to drink alcohol. They're get, getting uh, an hour uh, of yard time per day, just like real prisoners. They are, in fact, real prisoners, as I understand it. I don't know his last name, though, yet. It's a little bit complicated. They broadcast out of Keene, but a couple days a week they broadcast out of the Marianas. It's complicated. Believe me, I'm uh, closer to being a debunk debunker than a conspiracist. Uh... I don't, wasn't even sure FEMA camps were a real thing until now. Hi, Gloria. Gloria. One of your uh, fellow selectmen has told me that I shouldn't film him unless I get his permission. Do you support your fellow selectmen trying to stop indie reporters from filming them? I don't know who that is, so I will, unless I talk to him, I can't call him. I'd call him Handlebar Man. <laughs> You have the right. All right, thank you. Hey, are you on the select board? No. Do you work for the town? I do work for the town. Oh, the board. if I may ask, what are you doing from your government position, if anything, to help reduce taxpayer expenditure during this difficult time? Um, I gotta go into a meeting, so I can't speak right now. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Are you on the board of selectmen? If 
Are, are you on the board of selectmen? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> uh, do you hold any government position? I don't know. I'm going to have to assume that you do. If you do, I'd like to ask, what are you doing to reduce taxpayer expenditures during this difficult time? You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.